from information encoded in genomic DNA. Proteins are made. Let's enter the human body to find out how proteins are made inside a vessel. A lymphocyte is heading it this way. Let's go inside. Organelles and the nucleus were seen. Entering the nucleus through a nuclear pore. Chromosomes are located inside the nucleus. Genomic DNA binds to histones. Genomic DNA is folded many times over. When chromosomes are unfolded, DNA awaiting transcription can be seen. Information for protein synthesis is transcribed in this area. Preparing transcription process. Preparation for transcription from DNA to RNA begins when various transcription factors gather around DNA. One of the transcription factors finds a transcription initiation site on DNA and docks. Other transcription factors are moving this way. Each transcription factor has its role. The leading player in transcription, RNA polymerase 2, arrives. This is the most important process for transcribing genomic DNA into RNA. This long extended area shaped like a tail is called CTD. RNA transcribed from DNA is processed here. Using aggregated transcription factors as a scaffold, RNA polymerase 2 docks to DNA. The role of this transcription factor is to undo the double helical structure of DNA. The transcription factor helps RNA polymerase too. Complete its work. <laughs> Preparations for transcription are complete. Transcription of genomic information. DNA opens up. Unnecessary transcription factors leave the DNA, and RNA polymerase 2 changes its shape to begin transcription. RNA polymerase 2 begins reading DNA information. Materials for RNA synthesis, nucleotides, are taken in. 
protein synthesis information is serially transcribed from DNA to RNA. After transcription progresses to a certain degree, RNA is subjected to various processes. To the head, the so-called five cap is attached. Here, splicing is taking place. Information that is not used for protein synthesis is eliminated from the RNA. Each unused area or intron is bent, cut, removed, and immediately broken down. Only the necessary areas or exons are linked. In this manner, only the information needed for protein synthesis remains in RNA. RNA is then carried outside the nucleus. Once the necessary information is transcribed, RNA polymerase 2 leaves DNA. At one end of the separated RNA, the so-called poly-A tail, a tail-like structure, is formed. The completed RNA has the necessary information for protein synthesis. As a functioning messenger RNA or mRNA, it is transported outside the nucleus. Translation of Genomic Information The protein synthesis information encoded in mRNA consists of sets of three nucleotides. Each set of three nucleotides is called a codon. mRNA forms a ring to be translated. The ribosome is responsible for translating mRNA information and protein synthesis. The ribosome slides along mRNA to find the initiation site for translation. Transfer RNAs or tRNAs arrive. There are many different types of tRNAs, each carrying different amino acids. Each tRNA recognizes a certain codon and leaves the amino acids specified by the codon. In this manner, amino acids are linked in the correct order. A protein is thus formed. In accordance with the synthesis information written in mRNA, While being formed, the protein is folded sterically. Once the end of translation is recognized, the ribosome breaks down. The resulting protein is carried to the appropriate site. Translation occurs cur currently to produce multiple copies of the same protein from one mRNA. Sometimes incorrect tRNAs get in. They, they are expelled as a result of codon mismatches. After a certain number of proteins is made, 
the mRNA ring is broken. mRNA is broken down when it completed its role. The central dogma refers to a series of processes where genomic information is used to make the necessary proteins for biological activities. Thank you.